What's going on guys? This is Garrett with Q6 Cleaning Solutions. I was going to make a little video, um, show you some stuff that helped us out a lot in building this trailer this year um, and kind of try to do something that other videos didn't do, which is kind of like give a full overview on how we did what we did um, and some of the part names were kind of hard for us to find starting out. So jumping straight in, this is a soft wash system. Uh, it's a five and a half gallon per minute pump, Everflow. Uh, look that up online. Not too hard to find. It's gonna pop right up. I believe the branding on this is Stealth, and it's a three-way blend manifold. Uh, these are a little pricey. Cost you about 400 bucks. Um, and then stemming off of this, you see a bunch of a bunch of hose. I'm not gonna go too in depth on how all of that is plumbed together because it's really kind of frustrating but it's not that hard to understand once you get the gist the gist of it is there's half inch plumbing pieces coming out of each uh, blend metal each three-way splitter and you just run the poly threaded hose straight on to the plumber um, and then each hose is run its own way the top one or I'm sorry the bottom one is zip tied up here uh, we got a little drop stick here into our bleach 12% sodium hypochlorite you can probably find it at a chemical store or pool store close to you. Uh, the middle line is plumbed into our soap tank. I'm not sure, yeah, you can step over here and see that. It's plumbed into the back side on the bottom. And our top line is our water line, which is plumbed in right here to our buffer tank. Um, working up here towards the front, you can see where all of these hose reels, this is the soft wash hose. So it's connected directly with that Everflow pump, um, which while I'm talking about the pump, it's battery operated. Mm -hmm. So in the toolbox here is our battery. Um, we've got it wired together here. You know, you plug that up, flip a switch, and it'll cut right off. Um, all of our hoses here are plumbed either to the pressure washer or the buffer tank. This one is plumbed to the water tank but there's a valve on top so we can determine whether or not we want to send water to fill up the tank or to send water directly to the unit this garden hose is plumbed to the honda pressure washer uh, this is just a flexzilla garden hose you can get it at tractor supply home depot outdoors home improvement stores stuff like that our pressure hoses are both plumbed directly to the unit um, the left one to the Honda, the right one to the Predator. So this way, if you pull into a job and there's a 20 foot driveway, 20 foot back patio, you don't have to pull 250 feet of pressure washing hose out. You just pull in and you plug up, pull what you need, uh, and you don't have to unwind everything. We've been down that road, it is a headache. I highly recommend, that's one of the first things you do, is get your plumbing situated. It'll save you a ton of time. All the hose reels, I think they're 200 foot hose reels. We got a little bit more on the bottom ones, about 250. It's a close fit, but it does the, you know, it does the job. Uh, we don't have just a typical quick connect here on this. It's a half inch hose. So there's a half inch plumbing piece on the end of this with a hose clamp. Uh, you cut it on or off, uh, open it up. The pump's electric, so if it's full and you flip the pump on, it's not gonna make any noise. It's only when it needs to pull stuff that it'll send it. Uh, I think that's probably it. The soap tank here, you know, there's prop. that's a 16 gallon tank. There's probably five gallons in there. And that's enough to get you through 10 house washes, you know, just moderate vinyl cleanings. Uh, the only thing left on the trailer that we haven't looked at is the surface cleaners. It costs you about 400 bucks a piece. Um, you know, I highly, highly recommend you have a commercial surface cleaner. You're looking at cutting your time and probably getting done in a quarter of what it would take without it. Um, past that, I think that's it. We took both pressure washers off of the frames and have them mounted to the trailer itself. It'll free you up some space and, in my opinion, looks a lot more professional than keeping it on the wheels. We have enough hose where nothing ever comes off the trailer other than hose. Uh, I think that'll be it. So I hope this video helped anybody out who was looking to start up a pressure washing business. And uh, y'all, 
give us a subscription here. Q6 Cleaning.